Hey, Chris from the Mighty Decibel, welcome back. Well, 2020, in our opinion, was the year of hardcore punk with 13 albums scoring 8.5 out of 10 or higher on our scoring scale. Uh, so uh, 2021, though, belonged to extreme metal. There was no less than uh, 15 albums that scored 8.5 or higher here. Uh, so instead of our usual top 10 extreme uh, albums of 2021, we're going to do the top 15. Uh, so we got to get through quite a bit, so let's just get her started. Starting us up at number 15 is Vancouver, British Columbia's Dungeon Serpent with World of Sorrows. Uh, so what really stands out here is the uh, guitar tone, uh, gnarly and thick. This debut uh, full-length uh, cranks throughout, amazing stuff. Uh, the best death metal album of 2021 in our opinion. Nailing down to number 14 spot is Belarus Unit Downcross with their third album to the last sunset at Gates of Collapse. Uh, so we're talking searing black metal here uh, with uh, lots of speed and melodic guitar phrasing and perfect production here. Yeah, all the instruments can be discerned. Uh, so all these elements makes this a record that sounds huge coming out of your speakers. Our number 13 record of the top 15 extreme metal albums of 2021 is Dallas, Texas unit, uh, steel bearing hand with their sophomore release Slay in Hell. Uh, so it's heavy on the thrash with a pinch of death metal. Uh, so they uh, ride a very active rhythm section here. Uh, the drums and bass take you on a ride to the netherworld. Time to headbang in hell. Number 12 entry hails from Denmark, the band's called Killing, with Face the Madness, their uh, debut full length. So uh, simply put, this is tough thrash for thrash connoisseurs. Uh, neck braces are required.
first EP on our list lands at number 11. It's Milwaukee's To The Dogs with their three-track uh, release, self-titled release. Uh, so this is uh, old school black thrash, but it's got a pinch of crust. And what makes this uh, really, really good, other than being heavy as hell, is that it's oddly accessible too. Yeah. now for our number 10 selection say ciao to hell crash with their crucifix inverter release uh, so one quick look at this album cover you know the band has some problems with christians <laughs> and then when you put needle to uh to the album here uh out pops a vocalist that sounds uncannily like cronus of venom fame uh, so sonically though these lads lean more to the speed metal side of the equation for our number nine record of 2021 it's speed act the debut ep from carabiner uh, so i describe their sound as speed infatuated thrash uh rhythmic fury barely controlled here it's uh akin to the album cover art showing a car uh, you know perilously uh, making a turn on two tires uh, so one of those thrash albums that uh, pounds you in the chest and gets the head banging uh, regimented brutality. Black Thrash Veterans Disaster coming at number eight on our list with their ninth full length, Churches Without Saints. Uh, so no slowing down for these veterans, uh, you know, Satanic gurgling up a storm at the mic while the band whip up a milestone. Uh, so the band are smart and talented enough, though, not to just uh, stay at uh, uh, one velocity. They change up uh, speeds here and there and aesthetics um, throughout, uh, making sure that after 46 minutes, you still want to press play again. <laughs> Yeah. 
up and coming thrashers crypt grabbed the number seven spot on our list with their enter the crypt ep um so throughout this five song 15 minute uh release the uh, augusta georgia unit display exemplary writing and performance skills especially uh surprising given uh, that this is their debut release uh, high speed thrash is their game um, with requisite tough vocals, but there's also some uh, team shout vocals that lends itself a, a little bit of a crossover vibe here and there. So top notch, professional in all respects, uh, this EP simply rolls. <laughs> Desecration Right, the sophomore release from Norwegian extremists Vulture Lord comes in at number six. So the cover art, which depicts a graveyard and a decaying church, may uh, look like a death doom outing. But when you, once you hit uh, play, it's obvious that no, no, no this one is a malevolent um, Black Thrash uh, album. So just like Disaster, though, um, Vulture Lord is smart enough to sh uh, switch up speeds to allow the listener to recalibrate every once in a while. Uh, but that said, the uh, majority of this is wall of sound violence that will appease even the uh, harshest of extremists out there. Brazil's Grave Dancer with Busy Boys in 2021 issuing two EPs in a split. Uh, but it is their debut EP, Ripping Metal, that lands at number five on our list. Uh, and the name of their game is First Wave Black Metal, uh, specifically sounding like an unholy mix of early Celtic Frost and Venom. Uh, so blubbering bass, uh, lecherous vocals, old school riffage, it's all here uh, making a hoot of a listening experience. Uh, hell, uh, to even prove the point, they do a cover of Welcome to Hell to close out the EP. London, England's Craven Idol take the number four spot on our list of top extreme albums of 2021 with their third full length Forked Tongues. So here we have a concept record uh, revolving around the mythical battle between Zeus and Typhon 
and the uh, resulting fallout befalling us mere mortals on earth. <laughs> uh, but musically, uh, this is piercing black metal a la Marduk, uh, thrashed up to a boiling point, a fantastic black thrash record. And a quick note, if you, um, I would suggest that you buy the vinyl uh, so you could read along the, uh, the, along the storyline here, the lyrics, uh, while gazing at the amazing artwork. Schizo Goat comes in at number three with their debut EP, War, Pestilence, and Sacrifice. Uh, so this is Ron Rube Black Thrash, um, sounding like Hellawaite's Slayer playing first wave black metal, or maybe uh, early Celtic Frost playing Hellawaite's Era Slayer. <laughs> Either way, uh, what your ear hole will hear is some downtune grinding uh, black thrash accompanied by... Um, gremlin vocals that drag you through the most vile sewers that you can find great fun <laughs> is our fave black metal album of 2021 it's uh, gorgon with their six full-length traditio satani uh, so if you're on the prowl for some blistering black metal that's furious in its delivery and unstoppable in its hatred uh, you've come to the right bloodbath uh, so absolutely love the blood curdling vocals here uh, hatred upon mankind delivery uh, really elevating this to another uh, another level uh, Satan approved. down to the number one extreme metal album of 2021 and for me the easily coming in first place is black mass from boston uh, with their feast at the forbidden tree opus uh, so we're talking about action-packed uh, thrash here um, but uh, what really stands out is their their writing here amazing writing in that uh, not only uh, between tracks but 
in, in each individual track, you'll find um, uh, amazing bridge tempo changes or riff adjustments. Every single track, there's something coming at you that is unexpected and just glorious uh, for your ear hole. Um, so add to that the perfect production that uh, lifts and separates the rhythm section from the guitars and, and vocals. Wow, uh, you have a recipe for the best uh, extreme metal album of 2021. So it's hard charging, unapologetic thrash that, uh, that just slays. Hail. have it feast at the forbidden tree by black mass as our number one extreme metal album of 2021 uh, if there's any other albums that you thought should have uh, you know, broached into the to our top 15 uh, please write down below so everybody can check them out and just a heads up that uh, tomorrow we'll be uh, posting a curated set list of the best 40 minutes in extreme metal of 2021 and then on Friday, we're going to break out our lists into more detail, um, uh, providing our top 10 black metal albums of 2021, as well as our top 10 uh, death metal and uh, thrash metal albums of the year. And you know where you can find all that at all times. It's www.themightydecibel.com. Have a great one, eh?